What is going on guys, it is Fender here, and today we are back playing more Can I Stella here on the Monarchy server, and today you guys, there's war afoot. <laughs> and that is why we've got our new trike bone helmet on, because there's war, there's war, and we need to be prepared for all the shenaniganery that can happen. So, if you missed last episode, essentially what has happened is we have discovered that there is one crown here on the server, and everybody wants it. So, the two of the monarchs have uh, split into two groups. There's our side headed off by Aaron Bay, Krabby, K, Ross Clark, Bob, and myself versus uh, pretty much everybody else. <laughs> there is a civil war of sorts going on between the monarchs all after this crown. So there's war afoot. There, we need to do some prep. We need to probably move. There's a whole lot going on today. So I think since the lands are no longer hospitable and there are enemies afoot, there are aggressors afoot, we need to, we need to, <laughs> we need to maybe get some stuff figured out. And so that is what we are going to do today. So first and foremost, we need to get our resources on lock because up until this point, we have been living peacefully over here amongst the snail, which we are definitely going to, excuse me, there we go, which we are definitely going to have to move, by the way. We are no longer safe over here on Sisyphus's back at the lake. Oh God, we're going to have to move the snail, aren't we? <laughs> We are no longer safe over here on the back of the snail. We're going to have to move him and go into hiding again. But uh, we've been living over here for quite a long time. And if you can remember, the whole point of the snail was that we were going to crawl out into the map and hide. And so far, that's been pretty good. But we stopped over here at the lake and have set up a temporary residence over here because we needed to do some breeding. And we just needed a safe place that was stationary to do some breeding. But the breeding's done. So we may, in fact, end up having to move the snail. But... We need to get some resources, man. We need to get our resources going on because we have been living over here on the snail for quite some time. Uh, how are we doing on um, paste? Ooh, we're getting low on cementing paste. That's what I was worried about. We have been over here living off of beaver dams for cementing paste for so long. And now that, now that there are literally enemies afoot, it's probably no longer safe to go back over there and get cementing paste all the time. So... In order to counteract that, I think that we're going to have to go out and get some smaller snails. That way we can throw them in here and, oh god, a little bit of lag. That way we can throw them in our soul terminal and then we can progressively, we'll just get cementing paste all the time. Because, I mean, we got the oil, we got the honey, we got all sorts of eggs. Yeah, we just need some snails. We need some snails. So, that's what we're going to start off our day with. We need to get our resources under control because... I'm not, I'm not getting caught slipping, man. There's no way in heck. So, I've made some veggie cakes in order to do that. We got plenty of these. I have an idea of where to go looking, and that's exactly what we are going to do. And then I guess, I guess we need to move. We need to move Sisyphus because we are literally in the crossfire between the two groups. It's not good. It's not good. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go out. Let's get Crooked Jaw here, and uh, we'll head over and start looking for some snails. So uh, 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 there we go. Bear bees. <laughs> Aha! We have ourselves a snail! <laughs> Finally! Okay, I knew they were over here. It's taken me a little bit to find them. Hopefully it doesn't take a whole lot to knock out. You feel like you just want to get, I mean, 107. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can get level with it. You want to go to sleep now? There we go. Oh yeah, instantly to sleep. Instantly to sleep. Cool. It says it only needs two veggie cakes. I made a whole lot of veggie cakes. Uh, we're gonna need more than one snail, though. We need to be able to passively generate as many, uh, as much paste, rather, as possible. So, I think what we're gonna do, and even though that's the only snail I've found up to this point, we're gonna keep looking to see if we can find some more. Um, one snail's good, but we need, we need a bunch. We need a few. And hopefully, I, I was pretty sure that this area spawned them pretty frequently, but god, I have not been able to find them so far. Uh, but I feel like we're gonna keep looking, man. We gotta keep looking. Oh, oh god, well, okay, that way. Uh, we gotta keep looking, man. We gotta. There's no way that we're gonna be. I, what? Ugh. We might be able to get by with one, but ideally we get two or three and we can really increase our uh, our input of, of cementing paste. Should we grab this? There's a snake right there. Let's kill the snake and then let's grab that. Maybe. If anybody sees like an extra snail, you make sure you holler out snail and I'll stop and get it for sure. Okay, what do we got? Oh, uh, what, is, what is that? Mastercraft trikes out? Yeah, that's, both of those are terrible. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Oh, oh, snail, everybody else snail. Nailed it, look at that. You guys are so good. Good luck, charms. Go to the ants. Is there another one? More ants? Yeah, come on. Come get you some. We good? 
Please don't attack me, Swarm. Okay. Let's knock it out. Go to sleep. In one shot. Oh my god. All right. This one wants four. You're a little bit more hungry, sir, but it's fine. Two, three, four. Good news is the level literally shouldn't matter. Did you hear that? Was that the snail? That was a weird noise. The levels of these things literally shouldn't matter. So as long as we're just giving a snail entity body, life should be good. Well, that's two. That makes me feel a little bit better about things. We Ideally, if we get one more, I'm going to be a whole lot happier. I don't really want to fight that. Uh, okay. Eyes out. Eyes peeled for one more. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, there it is. Third snail. Here, what have we been looking for? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Reload the gun so I can shoot it. Go to sleep. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> and go to sleep now. There we go. Oh. Ah. The snail just took that right on the chin like a, like a lord. Okay, wait, wait a second. I'm not getting attacked by swarm right now. Really? Is this what's happening? Stop it. Stop. Wait. How did that snail just take that shot? All the rest of them went down instantly. This one's level 20. All right, dude. There you go. <laughs> Two more. Hell yeah. That's three. Might as well keep at it while we're taming these suckers. Alrighty, you guys. So I was managed to get four snails in total. I put them in here so that they can start making Argentina paste. But I have one, two, three, four. I spent some time looking for a fifth snail. Couldn't find one. I think four is the only snail amount that, that place had. There were only four snails there. But look, they're already producing Argentina paste in here, just like our bass are doing the oil. Just like our bees are doing the honey. They're already making it, which is great. That's going to be huge. I think uh, I'm hoping for is going to be good because we need all the paste we can get, honestly. You know what? Also, while we're here, um, one of you in the comments has been saying <laughs> that both of our crabs don't have names. Listen, man. Both of them have names. They've been named for a long time. So this is Claudia. We all know and love Claudia. But this one, this one's name is Crab Boo. And he's our melee crab. <laughs> This is the crab we use to fight stuff. So for those of you who have been asking in the comment section, yes, crab has a name and he's been in here kicking butt. So uh, with that settled, there's one more thing I'd like to do whilst we're here because we need a lot of cementing paste in order to do our next bit of work here. And unfortunately, we only have eight in here. It's going to take some time to build that up. And then we only have a handful left in here, uh, 665, which is not good. We need a lot more cementing paste than that in order to build what I want to build. Actually, I think I have some in here too. Yeah, 400. I still don't think that's enough. I think we need close to like 2,000 cementing paste. So, oh my God, so much lag right there. So, I've done some things in between episodes, i.e. I built us a grinder because we have been amassing so many things that need grinding. And I was hoping, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to break even and then some based off of some of the stuff we have. So. I've gone ahead between our two bases here and over there at our original base, and I have brought over all of the shenaniganery that we can get rid of here. So uh, a lot of this stuff I'm not expecting to get a whole lot from. I mean, these ones right here are the heavy hitters. The ascendant shotguns that we don't need, the ones that we made in an effort to try and, uh, that, that one got 2% crafting skill bonus. Uh, the ones that we tried to craft in order to get a higher uh, damage one and failed are all in here, but we should be able to get some good resources out of those. As well as, like, there are no flyers on this map, so we don't need an Ascendant Quetzal saddle. We don't need the Ascendant Pteranodon saddle. Uh, we don't need a lot of this stuff, so let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, that was pretty good. That's, what that like, 5,000-something surrounding base is great. I'll take that. 3,000 metal ingots. I guess we can't grind that a whole lot of hide. Perfect. Okay, that's, that's really good, actually. Uh, we've got a bunch of organic polymer, too. Okay, we can do that. We can fix that. Uh, now that we've got that done, that's, that's pretty good. We definitely broke even and then some with the, in the invention of the, uh, or the crafting the grinder. God, so much, so much lag here for some reason today. Uh, let's go ahead and drop all that stuff in here. And then let's come over here back to the fridge so that we can store, nope, this one. We can store the, uh, polymer. Hello? Uh, <laughs> I said in here. Would it be okay if we had, if we did one of these and then not gasoline? I don't, I don't understand why that's at, whatever. Uh, maybe we can do it like this. That's so strange that that's happening like that. Polymer? <laughs> there we go. Organic polymer. We want all the stuff in the smithy. God, that's a lot in the smithy. And then we want, did I get all of it? I got pretty much all of it. We want to put it in there, in there, in there. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. One more step. 
So all we need, like this, like that. There we go. <laughs> Boom. And that way it'll keep way longer. We'll actually have organic pollen, which is pretty good. Nice, okay. Next order of business. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, but we can try. So we actually need to build a tree platform uh, because, can we do that? We can. Yes, the grinder came in clutch because uh, whilst getting ready and, and, and getting ready to go to war, some war prep, our two sides have decided to build bases, right? Each side is going to have one base that we keep the crown in, if you have it. And we've decided, me and my group have decided, after looking around, that we're going to build our base on the west coast, and they're going to build their base on the east coast. So we need this for our base. <laughs> so we got that done. That was actually pretty good. That was actually really good. How are we doing on metal? I know we've got some back at home. Uh, smelt okay, cool. That's not... We're not hurting. Not hurting at all. Let me grab that so that we can actually do some things if need be. Cool. Uh, with that out of the way... Let's go check out the base I'm talking about, man. Let's go put our, our stuff down. I'll show you guys kind of what the what is. And then, as of this moment right now, we don't know where the enemy base is. So maybe we'll spend a little bit of time scouting. I don't know if we can find it. We might try, though. We might try to find it. Let's see if we can get down here safely. No fall damage thanks to Sisyphus. Boom. Oh. Uh, uh, mm. mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Back up Sisyphus a little bit. And then can we... Uh, can we get on? Crooked job, please. That'd be nice. Good rod him. Cool. So let me go over there. Let me show you kind of where we're set up at. And then, you guys, it's war. We're going to go find... We're going to go find the other base and see if we can at least write it down and see what they've got going on over there. So, BRBs! All right, you guys. Are you ready to check out the base location for Team Shalong? <laughs> Team Shalong? That's absolutely what we got to call ourselves now. I don't, I don't even care. I'm calling us Team Shalong. We're... we're <laughs> Anyway, do you want to see the base location for Team Shalong? Look at this, you guys. So we have decided to settle up in the trees like Ewoks over here on the West Coast. This is so good. Look at this, you guys. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. You can see Ross has already got his stuff all set up over there. I think he has the crown right now. So it's up to the other side to come over here and try and raid us. But effectively, what we are doing here is we're all each, each one in our team is going to put a platform down over here. Looks like, I think this is Bay. Yeah, so four people have already put down platforms. It looks like it's Ross, Bay, I think that's Krabby, and I think the one on the far side is Aaron. So with all of those guys is down, this is what we have to do. We have to decide if we want to put down our own platform on one of these trees, or I'm not sure if this is even possible. Maybe we add our platform lower down on the tree and then we just build up. Could be, could be a possibility as well. Uh, yeah, Ross is already over here. He's already got some stuff set up. I don't want to show too much, but he's in there, bunkered up in his pillbox with the crown right now. So, yeah, we need to figure out if we want to pick a new tree or if we want to add on to one of the existing trees, which I'm... It's looking like we already got all the nearby trees, which is fine. So I'm thinking... Can we test this out? I feel like we maybe should look this up. Let's see. Is it even possible to add... Oh, lag. Is it even possible to add? Oh, we could. We could put another one down right there. That could be ours. We just live under Ross's platform. <laughs> Is it worth? Because here's the other question, though. Because we don't want to, like, ruin his defenses by building underneath him, you know? So if it makes it easier to raid him by putting a platform underneath him, I don't know if that's good or not. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. I feel like maybe we should do it, though. It might be worthwhile. Um, and then we just build all the way up it, because it's it was pretty far down. None of the other trees are close, right? Let's... Okay. All right, hold on. Hold on! We need, <laughs> we need to think about this. All right, this is what I'm thinking, you guys. I, I think we're going to build on the bottom of Ross's tree, and we're just going to have one giant impenetrable fortress of a base. That's what I'm thinking here, so... He's already got the one area up top. Unfortunately, we can only place these in the snap points. Voila! There we go! Behold! Oh, my God. <laughs> Behold! We now have our own base below uh, Ross's base. This is such a cool area. I like this a lot. And then, you guys, effectively what we can do to try and help out the squaw, I think we'll just end up building a base from here up to his. And then, effectively, by doing that, we will have one enormous war column of a uh, of base here, which I think is going to be outrageous. So, uh, what's going on down there? Anything crazy? Nothing crazy. So, 
That is what we're doing here. So far, so good. Now what we got to do is we need to, uh, a couple things. One, we still need to move the snail. Snail is still in harm's way. You can't be having that. And two, we need to build something, something on this base, or at least try and protect it. Maybe? I think I have an idea. Hold on. <laughs> Let's go get Grog. Who's Grog a lot of you might ask? Well, I asked you guys in a few episodes back at this point to help me name a creature. And I have absolutely, Grog's such a great name. I don't know why I didn't think of it. I don't know why textures aren't loading in either. Uh, we need one of these. Get one of these going here. Uh, Grog is effectively, go ahead and put a rifle away. He's effectively our giant rock, man. Our giant rock. Look at this. Look at this. This is from now on shall forever be known as Grog. Our defender of the base. And he's been doing a great job, honestly, over here. He's done pretty much exactly what we need him to do. Scaring off all the peeps, which is great. But I think now that we are effectively at war, he'd be doing a lot better. Come on. He would do a lot, lot better if he was set up over there. Also, I have not settled on a name for the Mega Shalon yet, but we may have to just name him Shalon, man. Shalon. Because <laughs> we're Team Shalon. Oh, my God. Anyway, yeah, so... It, I haven't thought of a name for him yet or the orange magma source. So if you want to name something, leave a comment down below. Odds are I'll probably end up using it, but we need a name for the mega Shalon and the magma source still. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this. Uh, let's get him put up over there on our platform. And then you guys, we really should think about moving the snail because it's, it's effectively out in the open and it's giving me so much anxiety. Like I don't want our base getting raided. All of our stuff is over there. So BRBs. All right, so we've got Grog, we've got our base set up. We don't really have anything on our base, though. Effectively, all we really need to do is set up a place for we, where we can hide while we sleep so we can defend the crown. So that just means some walls and maybe some defenses. But for the time being, Ross has golems up top. We may as well add Grog to the mix. Come back over here, buddy. Look at you. I love you so much. You're such a good man. Oh, my God. 13 levels. You've been killing a lot of stuff around the base. Oh, my God. All right, cool. So let's go ahead. Let's do, uh, is it behavior? Yes. He's still in turret mode, which is awesome. Um, and then behavior stance aggressive. Cool. Right. You're the man, Grog. This might actually end up, well, whatever. We'll place him. We'll place him. This is as far as we can back him up. All right, Grog, stare off into the distance. Are you still in turret mode? Enable turret mode. Uh, are you still on aggressive? Nope. Are you still on? Are you still on? He is. Okay. All right, Grog. Defend our base from the evil invaders. Look at that. Isn't that a shot? Look at that. Oh, well, too far. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I panicked. I couldn't figure out where our, panic, or our, our parachute was. All right, so now that we have our little thing set up, we know that the crown is safe amongst Ross's stuff, right? We all know that. So, two things. We could either move the snail, which absolutely needs to happen. We don't want all of our prized possessions going over to the other side in the Civil War. Or... God, this looks so cool. I like this shot a lot. Or we could do some scouting and see if we can find their base, which I think would be a lot more fun to do. So personally, that's kind of what I'm... I th um, should we do some scouting? Should we try and stir the pot a little bit? Oh, mm, mm, mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I still think we should stir the pot. I think that you and I... <laughs> I think that you and I should go for a little bit of an investigation check to see if we can figure out where they are because... These are the rules. We had to set our base over here up on the West Coast somewhere, and we've done that. And they have to set their base up on the East Coast somewhere. So we know if it's on the East Coast somewhere, we just have to find it. So what do you say? We let Crooked Jaw take a nap, get a little bit of beauty rest in, and then we go over there, we do some investigation. Some scouting, if you will. <laughs> BRBs. All right, so I'm a little bit too impatient to wait for Crooked Jaw to wake up because it's going to take forever. So I figured we would do one better. Since the East Coast is covered in its primarily redwoods and mountains, maybe this would be... I was going to say, there's no way that he's cryo-sick. I really thought I just did the same thing and knocked out our Drake. Uh, I was going to say, maybe the Drake is a better option for cruising the land looking for them. So... Uh, oh my god, we have 17 more levels. Deal with that in a second. But, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't jettison ourselves off the side. <laughs> but you guys, so, we need to look all up down the East Coast, which means we need to check all of that south down there, that, like, marshy swamp area with all the mountains. But then we have to check all the redwoods, and then we got to go all the way to the north, and I'm pretty sure that's more of a grassland mountain area, but 
we need to be checking on all of that. Also, how are you doing for levels? We've been primarily putting all of your levels into, uh, it looks like melee. And then we're probably going to keep that up because we don't really need anything else. Or need anything else? Oh my God. Uh, we got plenty of health at 10.6K. Honestly, that's pretty good for a Drake. 46 in the town is pretty good. 42 in what? Yeah. Yeah. I think you're just a powerhouse, Maverick. I think you just beat the hell out of things. So <laughs> let's just do that. Let's get you all up to it. Oh, are we going to do it? Oh my God. We broke a thousand. We broke a thousand damage on a Drake. It's outrageous. Okay. We may have to consider putting a little bit more into health, but let's start looking. Let's see what we can see. See if we can find them. It would be really funny if we ended up running directly into them. So <laughs> let's spend a little bit of time looking. I do know that over here amongst this side is a castle uh, that might be worth looking into as well. So we're going to see if we can find them. We might not be able to, but I figure we should at least do our due diligence and see if we can spot them before they find us. I know that, I mean, technically our side does have the crown right now. Team Shalon, we do got the crown, but still. I'd rather be uh, more aware than be caught unaware. You know what I mean? Got to find our enemy first. So, oh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time looking here. See what I can see. So, I'll bring you guys back if I ever should happen. To, oh, my God. If I should happen to find anything. <laughs> oh, God. Little Wilson the bit on a Drake. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I found them. I think I found them instantaneously. Is this them? This has got to be them. They are up here in the castle. They're literally just up here at the castle. That's it. Is this? It's got to be them. This wasn't here before. We literally found them like instantaneously over here. Who is this? This is, this is Vino. Uh, what is it? Ma, Ma, Manusi outside? What is that? What is that? This has got to be Vino. This is Vino over here. Should we guess his code? I don't know. Is it this one? Is that it? Is that the code? No? Can we see inside? I think it's, I think it's it. <laughs> All right. So they haven't established nearly as much as we have here. What do you think this is? Oh, that's chips. Yeah. Yep. That's them. They're setting up bases over here, over at the castle. I found them so fast. I found them so fast. Oh my God. All right. Well, uh, let's, uh, let's take a picture so we can send the fellas. That was... That was so fast. <laughs> oh my God. We could, we could break in to let them know we're here, but instead I don't want them to know that we know where they're at. So hold on. Let me get a screenshot. Let me send the boys. And then I guess we can work on a, maybe we work on our base a little bit today instead. This, <laughs> I, I found it instantly. All right. BRBs. <laughs> oh my God. All right, guys. So I think it might be time to move the snail i wanted to do this last but considering we i mean we we found their base almost instantly like the very first place we looked now i got all the time in the world so i think it is time that we move on we were supposed to be here temporarily anyway but now now it's time to go it served its purpose we got our breeding done that we needed to do here it's all done um but yeah time to go so i think instead we're gonna leave our little breeding area compound building here just for the memories if we ever need any of the stuff in there we'll come back for it or if we ever need to hatch an egg but yeah i think it's time to go i think we just take sisyphus and go uh let's pick up our magmasaur guy also this one still needs a name if you got a name suggestion for this beautiful orange lady let me know go ahead and put her away though for the time being <laughs> and then i think we just take sisyphus man and i think we probably take him honestly we can hide him just about anywhere but i think we're gonna have to take him closer to our base over there and it's going to be way harder to do way easier said than done i suppose because these snails you guys these snails well awesome really want to do their best to crawl under the mesh on the map it's terrible and i think it's a combination of it's a look, look, look it's doing it i think it's a combination of it being a modded creature on a modded map but yeah it like look, 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 look. where's it going i hate that oh it makes me so angsty don't die Please don't die. <laughs> but yeah, I think we need to try and move him. Oh yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Look at this. This is what I was talking about. They do their, they do this thing where they like hide under the map. It, oh, it's, it's terrible. Okay, are we drowning actually? We're not. Okay, we're good. We're still good. But yeah, 
I think we gotta walk our way over there, which is gonna be a gigantic pain in the butt to do. But I'm gonna try. We're gonna see if we can do it. I think we need to go. Oh god, we need to go north. Oh lord. <laughs> Look how bad this is already. All right, you guys. I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend about as much time as I can until I get just in, intensely frustrated with the snail. <laughs> but we're gonna head out, man. We're going a northwesterly direction. Let's see if we can. Can we make it through these trees? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're moving. We're moving and grooving. Kind of. Oh, God. BRBs. <laughs> oh my God. All right, it looks really goofy, but I have ascended the mountain wall and we are now up here on the flat part at least. So hopefully, oh, there we go. We're out of the ground now. That's kind of nice. And we're back in the ground and we're out of the ground. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> At least we've gotten through the uh, the uh, vertical part of the journey. Now, hopefully, it should all be smooth sailing. It's all pretty flat from here on out, right? So, yeah, we're going to see, hopefully, if we can get all the way over there. Oh! If we can get all the way over there in one piece, man. Journey with the snail's hard. I love him to death, but oh, my God. This is, it's really... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Oh my god, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. You would think. Until we get hung up on by one tree. Oh boy. Oy vey. Oy vey. <laughs> oh no. Come on. I might have to go backwards to go forwards. It might be one of those situations. I'll tell you what though, you guys. By the end of this, I'm going to be a snail moving expert. Oh my goodness, you guys. We have finally made it over here to the trees, man. <laughs> we finally have crawled all the way from the lake over here. And it is, it's been a, quite a journey, man. It has taken a long, long time <laughs> to get back over here. So the beauty of it is though, now we have a full formed functioning base all the way. Oh, is that gonna attack it? Okay. Just yeah, so I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried that like wild things are still gonna run up and try to attack it, which very might very well, <laughs> which very well might be the case, right? Like there are tons of like scorpions, perlovias, arthropleras in the area, and I'm pretty sure down underneath our trees is a giga spawn. So wherever we leave Sisyphus, we need to really, really, really make sure is safe. So I'm thinking. We can't leave it over there on that cliff, okay? Because that cliff on the far side is dangerous. I've checked it out already. I've already looked. It's not good. Can't can't have it. Can't do it. What are we doing here with with this? We need. We don't really need more. Well, we're kind of getting. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do some weights. Good. Um, it's not safe, man. It's not safe. So what I think I'd like to do, if we could get on that rock right there, that would be ideal. Uh, but instead, I don't think we can do that. So I think what we should do instead is. Maybe we park it on the beach. We get some beachfront property over here, maybe. And then we try to protect it with like spikes or something. Because at the very least, oh, at the very least, we now have a fully formed base snail hanging out here, you guys. We're ready to go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. So we can put it on that beach over there, maybe. I would re I really want to put it up there on that. Should we do that? Should I find out how to do that? That might make a whole lot. That's going to be a long walk though. It's gonna be a long walk. I don't see any obvious ramps to get it up there to you. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. We might just have to live our best life over here on this little, little uh, island. <laughs> I don't see. I don't see any natural land ramps to get up there. Not looking like it. All right. Well, if worst comes to worst, maybe one day we can get the tech bridge and we can tech bridge up across it. That might be an option. <laughs> but for now, though, what do you? What do you? I don't. Maybe. Right there on that platform on this rock right here on the right. That could work. That could work. Let's see if we can get on that. At least then all the small stuff wouldn't be able to hit the snail. And it would still be close enough that uh, I wouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, 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 come on. Come on. Ah, come on. You've climbed crazier things before, says the best you got. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. It looks weird now, but it's going to. Oh. Should we just leave it like that? There's this big old floating snail? I I think that's pretty good. <laughs> All right, can we get him to level out a little bit? 
you feel like? Is this the best you feel like? Oh! I feel like you might want to level out just a little bit. Might, oh! <laughs> oh! I love it, but sometimes, man, sometimes. <laughs> it's just goofy. It's just so goofy. All right. We can just get it to level out here. Just level out. Come on. Oh, 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 wait. Everybody hold your horses. Are, are we good? Are we good? I'm back up to the top. Ah! <laughs> what is going on? Yes, 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 yes. The snail's climbing abilities are second to none. Look where we've ended up. <laughs> no way. All right. Okay, cool. Woo! That's actually a really good spot for Sisyphus, man. So we were over there on the opposite side of the trees on that island. And after enough messing around, I just decided it just it wasn't safe over there. So instead, I decided that I was going to try to walk it up that bank right there. And I could. Surprisingly, the snail. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, can we do some fly? I don't have the wingsuit on. Oh! <laughs> That's why we can't do some flying. Let me put the wingsuit on really quickly. Thank you, Sisyphus, for the leap. Uh, I decided to try and walk him over here, and I saw a spot that I... It's not really a land ramp. Where's my helmet? It's that... Yeah, try Nailed it. Um, it's not really a ramp, but I figured Sisyphus might be able to climb it, and sure enough, look at him. Look how majestic he looks up there on his little mountaintop. It's so good. But this right here, you guys, I was able to walk it straight up this cliffside, and it climbed it. No problems. And so once I got up here, I realized there's not a whole lot of safe places up here. So initially I was going to put it on this little plateau here, but I seen this little rock island, you guys. And it's just, ah, it's so goofy. I love it. It's so good. Look at that. So definitely it is 100% safe up there unless something spawns up here along with it. So we might put a couple of like foundations and things up there just to ah, try to protect them a little bit. It looks good, man. It looks good. We might, I might even leave the trees. What do you guys think? Should we leave the two trees that were parked in between to try and give him a little bit of a, little bit, of, a little bit of a parking spot? Oh my god. Oh, I like this so much more. I like this so much more. Look at this. What do you think, Sisyphus? <laughs> you're looking good, my boy. I think you're looking great. So now that we've got him all the way over here, that was a walk, man. That was a long walk. Now that we got him all the way over here, and he is safe. I'm pretty sure he's 100% safe. Our bases are right over there for the Civil War. So we're close, but we're not too close. So Sisyphus should hopefully avoid some of the stray bullets and things that might be going off over there. But now that we've got this here, we need to start working on some sort of base design over there for our platform. That way we can uh, ward off any uh, aggressors when the time comes. So... Every single one of our frogs is gone. <laughs> oh no, we lost the frogs along the way. Well, they didn't die, but we definitely lost them. Damn, I really thought they were gonna be in here still. Whatever, we're gonna have to maybe backtrack and try and find them one day. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy the success. I'm gonna start thinking about what we can do for a base design. I'm gonna start building some stuff and then I'll bring you guys back. Hopefully all will be well. <laughs> We lost three frogs, but it was definitely worth it to get over here, man. This is a really cool spot, I think. Anyway, BRBs! Alrighty, guys. So we've actually got some good news going on over here because I was able to backtrack our path that we took Sisyphus on, and I found all our boys, all of our young froggy men. I found them along the path. They were actually just, like, in the very first river we crossed, going around, running train on, like, piranha and stuff. But we got them all back. They're all safe and sound here which means we are now going to continue to be safe inside of Sisyphus when we log out, which is great. And then I figured, you know, we may as well try and build some sort of hovel on our platform over there. This guy has so many levels. We'll put all of those in the melee. We want anything that breaks in here to fall asleep instantaneously with the licks. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Uh, Yeah, so I think we're going to do that, and I've been building up in order to do that. So this is what we're working with here. Seeing that we are on some sort of round structure with a tree in the middle, I'm thinking about trying to build an igloo. It's gonna... <laughs> and try to envision this with me, okay? It's kind of, there's a lot going on. But I'm feeling like trying to build an igloo covered in spikes. A big spiky, like, pillbox-looking thing. I think that's what we're gonna try to do. 
I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it's going to be a cool idea nonetheless. So that is what we are working with today. There are some rules for the bases, the, really only one, and that is you need to have a wooden door. People need to be able to break into it <laughs> somewhat easily, so we're going to have a wooden door, and then we really need to consider what all we're using for base defense in terms of dinos. So first things first, I've been building a lot of things over here. We're going to try and use most of these to see if, I don't know if it'll help us or not. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But uh, let me go over there. We're going to start building. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to show you guys or leave in. Are we heavy? Can we move? Oh, oh, barely, baby. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to be able to show you guys because building for me is extremely hard, man. It's I, uh, it's really, really painful. Let's do that so we get our falling buff. Come on. Oh. <laughs> it's really hard. And the reason for that being is if you're new, I have a big idea of what I want to build, right? It's in there somewhere. But the problem is, is as soon as I start building things, I start changing things. And then it just, it takes me like hours to do. It's a big pain in the butt. So I usually build in uh, updates. So <laughs> we do a little bit of building. I'll show you guys what's going on. And then it lets me work through in my brain place, in my head cannon, how I also want it to work. So we're going to go over here. We're going to slowly bay watch our way over to Claudia. Then we're going to go back over to our cliff platform. And then we're going to, well, I guess not a cliff, tree platform. And then we're going to build some sort of war hovel, some sort of pillbox idea. Oh, my God. We're so high on this mountain that we're, like, above the, the fog clouds. It's crazy. Anyway, so, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. There we go. And you should have plenty of weight. Yeah, you do. Perfect. All right. Well, let me go over here and start building. And I'll show you guys kind of what I'm thinking on this sucker. I'm not, it just, it doesn't have to be anything fancy as of right now. We're not the one with the crown, but still... We need to do our part for the squad, and we need to make them think. We need to need the other side to think that we maybe are in there, right? So we got to put something up. So, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of building. I'll show you guys here in a minute, but we are bees. <laughs> Look at the snail up there. He's so good. Look at him. Oh, I love it. Now BRBs. <laughs> so, guys, I may or may not have done a thing. I may or may not have gone over to our tree platform, started working on things, realized it was going to take me an end... An incredibly long amount of time and effort to complete it. And then uh, just just worked on it until I was happy with it. Which is kind of what happened. But it's not crazy. It's not an insane design. I've just poured in a lot of resources into it. So I want to show you guys kind of what we're working with here. And kind of what the idea is. Because the whole idea of this whole little build is we want our base. Because as we don't have the crown right now, right? We want our base to look imposing. And we want it to be just frustrating to deal with, right? We don't want to be unraidable, but we want it to just be kind of a pain in the butt. So that is exactly what I have designed our base to do. So let's run over there. Let's go look at it real quick. And uh, yeah, I have been, uh, when I tell you that I've been working on this thing for hours and hours, you're going to see why. I have sunk so many resources into it, it's not even funny. So we got, I think that's Bob's base in there on the left. We got... Uh, I'm not sure whose base is on the right there, but ours is right underneath those rocks right here. Look at this. Look at this. Do you guys see what I've done? I have successfully created what I like to call <laughs> the hedgehog base. Look at it. It's amazing. It's a tree platform <laughs> covered in metal spikes. There's no way to get onto it safely. So, yeah, I have a... <laughs> Look how many metal spikes are on it, man. Oh my God, it's been a, uh, it's been kind of a crazy deal over here, but I'll show you guys exactly what I've got going on here now because I realize I had to do it. So there is only one way in and the only way, oh my God, lag. Oh my God, lag. Let's try that again. There's only one way in and as per the rules, you have to have wooden doors somewhere on your base, right? So I have adhered to that. Oh, ow. Yep. I've adhered to that. And this is the only way into this base right here is a set of double doors. Now, I've only worked on the shell of the base. We're going to have to work on our defenses like dinos and things in the inside of this base and stuff at a later date because the shell of this sucker took a long time. It took a long time to place all those spikes, but this is the only way in, guys. This is it. There's only one wall that you can walk in through. <laughs> Look at this hedgehog pillbox. It's too much, man. It's goofy. I love it. Mm, excuse me, I had a bit of a cough right there, but yes, this is the whole point. We have a pillbox made entirely of spikes and metal. So the idea is we want the roof to look as unappealing to try and go through as possible so that they want to come through the doors. And then, you know, later 
hopefully we can work on some dino reinforcements, maybe some velos, maybe some toads. I think the toads might be the way to go. I think the toads might be the move, but check this out, you guys. So uh, just remember, we've only worked on the shell so far and nothing else. So in order to get in, you literally have to crouch through the doors. You can't even run through, which is great. It's inconvenient as hell, and I love it so much. And this is what we're looking like on the inside here. So uh, I did add kind of some windows on either side. That way, the people could grapple over, kind of peek in to see what's going on, and then realize, hopefully, that they can go through the doors instead of trying to come through the roof. Now, look at this. It looks like there's a hole here. It looks like there is a gigantic gaping hole into our base. But look at this. It's an optical illusion. There's not there. We have an invisible tree wall <laughs> right here. So technically anywhere on this platform where there's like a metal grate is technically tree. I don't know why it is the way that it is, but it's technically tree. And once I realized that, I decided we should try and play into the optical illusion and see if we can deal with it. And I, so far, I think I have. So it's an invisible wall. And what's great about it is this. Let me run back outside. Is if you're looking, oh, a little bit of lag. If you're looking to uh, break into our base place, right? Oh, if you're looking to break into our base place and you're flying around it and you're like, okay, what is an easy way in to this, this pillbox? To the, I'm, I'm calling it the hedgehog. I don't, it just, it seems so fitting, but you're going to come in. You're going to see, you'll be like, oh, look, silly man. He left a huge hole for us to just come through. Well, you can try and get in this way, but uh, you can't. And you're going to end up falling right into the spikes as soon as you do try it. So... Yeah, it's kind of an optical illusion of sorts. It's really neat. Um, you can't even shoot through it, I've learned. So, yeah, it's fake. It's fake news. It's optical illusion. It's, it adds to the allure of the goofiness. There we go. Let me get back in there. Uh, yeah, so that that's going on with that. And then once I realized that this was all a fake wall, uh, I, I just had to build the hedgehog base this way, you guys. I had to. And then in here, there's nothing in these rooms yet, but I'm thinking, you guys, we may even make these rooms shorter. Because the initial idea is, if we have the crown and we're in here, we want them to have to come in here and deal with whatever dinos we have, like, waiting for them, right? So I'm thinking, maybe we just make these rooms one high and put ramps all the way around them. That way, if they do break in and maybe we have trudons or toads or something... They can't just sit on the roof like and they can't sit on the roof like this anyway. It's too short. Can't get up here. I've tried. I've tried. It's not possible. Um, but that way, the uh, whatever creature we have defending the area should also be able to get up there. <laughs> so I don't know. The inside is still a work in progress. I've been just kind of messing with ideas and designs. And uh, yeah, so I have been working on designs in here, trying to figure out what we're going to do, realizing now that we have like these weird fake walls in here. Like you can't even walk through this because technically... The tree extends all the way to where this grate is, technically. So <laughs> it's going to be a really awkward base to run around in and fight in. But I love that. I love that. Like, this looks like an open hallway. It's not. There's an invisible wall there. So goofy. But I think, you guys, that's probably what we're going to do. Probably get some... Tr oh, oh, there we go. Loading the armor. Probably get some toads, maybe some trudons, maybe some arthroplura, maybe some... There's so many things we can stuff in this treehouse that would work for this. Maybe monkeys, maybe a thousand monkeys like we did to Vina's base and just put them all on turret. <laughs> that's terrible. That might be a good play though. Anyway, yeah, I think that's good what we're gonna do. But until then, at least we have some sort of formal hovel ready to go. And uh, yeah, you guys, I think it's pretty good. But that's gonna be all I have time for today. We have to get down to business, man. There are things that need doing and I have wasted a whole lot of time walking the snail and then building the hedgehog base which is just too much it's just too much i still love it though i still love it and remember you guys remember we don't want the base to be not like impossible to raid right that's that's not fun for anybody we just want it to be kind of a pain in the butt to raid so that's kind of what i went with here i know it's goofy but i feel like i feel like the goofiness is part of the allure and and the uh the fun so yeah let me know what you think. I'm not really a huge PvP guy nowadays, but I figured this would be kind of a unique, goofy way to go about things. And I, I just, I love it so much. I just, <laughs> look at this. It looks really cool, man. The hedgehog base. I'm hoping what happens is someone's going to be like trying to get in here like this. And they're going to fall right into the spikes and realize it's not a good idea. So, yeah, there's a couple places here and there. We might try to add a few more spikes <laughs> if we really need to. But I think for now. We've got our thing made. We've got our base location ready to go, and we are ready to do some Civil War stuff. But 
that's all I have time for today, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a like, guys. Honestly, it does help me out. We've been going through a lot over here as an art community, and it does, it means the world to me as you guys support my videos and things. And uh, I just want to say thank you. And if you want to join my Discord, there is a link down below. And then uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>